An amber weather warning has been extended and now covers most of the country, with Britain braced for Storm Isha to hit this evening. A higher level red warning has been issued by the Irish Met Office. Winds of up to 80 miles an hour are expected to hit the UK later. There is the potential for power cuts, transport disruption and even danger to life, while rain warnings could lead to localised flooding. The Met Office says it's rare for the entire country to be under a weather warning, though London and parts of the south are likely to escape the worst of the wind. Good evening. Within the next hour, weather warnings will come into force across every part of the UK as Storm Isha sweeps in, bringing travel chaos and even a danger to life. Flights have already been rescheduled and tonight a warning of significant disruption for passengers on rail, road and sea, which could last well into tomorrow. Winds of up to 90 miles per hour are on the way and the Met Office says everyone will be affected by the storm. Helen Keenan has the latest. Storm Isha is swooping in around the country, with gusts expected to reach up to 90 miles an hour. The water's already whipping up in Cornwall, but this is the calm before the storm. In the next hour, things are expected to get a whole lot worse. In the West Country, waves are crashing in Devon, with unusual danger to life wind warnings affecting nearly all of the UK. Really unusual to see the whole country covered in wind warnings. This is the ninth storm of the season and unusual to get so far down the alphabet as well. Amber warnings are in place for large parts of the country and it's the coastal regions that are likely to bear the brunt, along with Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. Where preparations are getting underway for possible power cuts coupled with warnings of damage to homes and buildings. Make sure today that you've got plenty of blankets ready, torches, because if the power's going off uh, in the dark, um, making sure that you're checking in on family and friends who could be in vulnerable circumstances. Flights are already affected today. Some have been rescheduled and passengers are warned to check with their airlines. Closures, cancellations and delays are expected across the entire transport network, potentially causing chaos for commuters tomorrow. Avanti West Coast has warned against travel. East Midlands and Southwestern Railways are reducing their services. LNER have warned not to travel north of Newcastle and all train lines across Scotland will close tonight. Earlier this month, Storm Henk left a trail of destruction across England, with homes and roads left flooded. Tonight, there are fresh warnings, with nine in place across England. So we're asking everybody to be extra cautious, take care and um, make sure that you're aware of what your flood risk is in case there is any flooding in your locality. Some have been trying to catch the waves now before the winds gets any worse, with no one expected to escape this storm. Helen Keenan, ITV News. Hello, we have a stormy night to come as Storm Isha hits the UK and brings for us the potential for damaging disruptive gusts of wind. There are Met Office warnings out there, so do check those. We could well see some problems going into the morning rush hour tomorrow. We're expecting a very stormy spell of weather pretty much across the whole board, all thanks to at Storm Isha, which is a very large and powerful storm expected to bring widespread severe gales, heavy rain, this combined with snow melt across the north of the UK, with the mild airs likely to lead to some localised flooding as well. Here's a list of some recent gusts of more populated areas, but of course uh, more exposed uh, areas uh, higher up on uh, mountaintops. We've seen them up to 90 miles an hour. Just an indication of just how powerful Storm Isha is, as it's uh, hurtling in towards our shores. Not even arrived yet. These amber warnings do come in force very soon at 6pm, lasting till 6pm tomorrow morning. And we could be looking at gusts in excess of 90 miles an hour, maybe 100 miles an hour. Some of the worst affected areas around Irish sea coast, particularly uh, northern parts of Northern Ireland in towards western Scotland. Areas closer to the centre of the storm, just passing to the north of the UK. Band of rain, plenty of showers moving through with these damaging gusts of wind. Could even be some rumbles of thunder with some of the heaviest showers. Temperatures falling a little bit across the north, double figure digits across the south. So I think it's fair to say we could see considerable disruption to our Monday morning rush hour. Stay tuned to the forecast, head online uh, for all the latest uh, updates there and all the warnings will be on the app and online.
Just a quick heads up as we head through the new working week, there'll be further wet and windy weather with also sunny spells in between.